All right, now we get to learn how to make some sounds, okay? First, we need to learn a funny French word, and the word is embouchure. Say that, embouchure, embouchure, right? That's a weird word, it's French, and it means what your lips are shaped like and how your mouth is formed when you play an instrument. And that's really important. If you have a bad embouchure, you're gonna make bad sounds. It's not gonna be the correct sound coming out of your instrument. So the way that our lips are shaped and the shapes that we make are very important. So let's learn what a trumpet embouchure is like. Okay, the first thing, you, I'll just show you what it looks like. And I, I like to make my trumpet embouchure while blowing out because that's what I'm gonna do when I play the instrument. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna kind of get close, ready? Mm -hmm. I was blowing out right there. That's what your lips should look like when you're playing before you put them and when you put the mouthpiece up to you. A couple of good things you can do with this is look in a mirror. Get a mirror on your music stand or right next to you or go into the bathroom, wherever you have a mirror and make your face look like this. Uh, on uh, your one class, your one note notebook, they should have picture example. I should be giving you picture examples of all these too. So you can hold that up, look at it, look at your face, make sure it's the same. It should look like this. That's a trumpet embouchure. That's what your lips should look like when you're playing trumpet. So let's, I'm gonna talk to you about how to do that, right? Some people like to just look at it and make that face and imitate, but I'm gonna talk you through it a little bit. First of all, I like to say the syllable M, like mmm, like mmm, that's delicious pepperoni pizza. Mmm, but don't say an mmm with your teeth closed. You don't want your teeth closed like this because you can hear it affect my sound when I talk. It's gonna affect your sound when you play. So you want your teeth apart a little bit, right? Like the width of a pencil or something like that. And then you want to say, mmm, with my lips up, my teeth apart. Mmm, my lips come together. I don't want to go, mmm, or mmm, or mmm, or something silly like that. Right? You want to go, mmm, lips apart, and then you blow through a really tiny little hole. And when you put that up to your instrument, it most likely is going to make a sound. Right? And that's the sound right there. Okay? I'm sorry if the microphone was a little loud right there, but that's what the sound is. Okay? If you're getting no sound, then your lips are too far apart. You got to get them. See that tiny little hole? It's itty bitty, right? You breathe in. And you get a good sound, right? And you make a sound. And you might get this sound. Or you might get this sound. Or whatever sound comes out. And we're going to learn how to make better sounds. But you just want to make a sound. Some people like to say when you're making a brass sound, you go. But I don't really like that because it adds a lot of tension in your lips. And it'll sound like this. That's not a trumpet. That sounds like a dying duck, right? So you want to. That's the shape your lips make. Try it yourself. Go test it out.